Well, tonight, uh, social welfare waits to take a baby about to be born from its mother who was suffering a rare personality disorder. A family friend who speaks on the program tonight um, speaks out for the woman who wants help to keep her baby. Also tonight, the army launches an inquiry into beer gate, soldiers taking beer across the Tasman for a military exercise, and the guitar hero, who's not old enough to drink in the pubs, but he sure does entertain there. Good evening to you. Tonight uh, we start with a story which has all of us around the country concerned really. This couple we're about to talk about are not permitted by law to tell you their names. So let's call them Barbara and Doug. And they're central to a story which is the subject of some intense debate. It's not an easy issue. Barbara is about to give birth. She lives in Wairarapa. The Children and Young Persons Service plans to take the baby off her, just like that, and place the little baby, about to be born, in care. The reason? Barbara has been diagnosed as having a rare personality disorder called Munchausen's by proxy. And sufferers fake or induce medical problems in children to gain attention for themselves. Three of her children from another relationship have been taken by authorities and placed in foster care. One of the girls was sent to hospital because she was undernourished. Barbara has no access rights to those other children. Her current husband has two young daughters from a previous relationship and both of those girls are fit and healthy. The four of them have been living together as a family for the past year. Barbara and Doug recognise Barbara's past medical history but they believe that with help from counselling and support services within their community, they can look after their child properly. This is the child about to be born. Well, for the first time today, a close family friend has spoken to us on their behalf. This from Sean Plunkett. June Elliston was Nana to Barbara's two daughters, two daughters who were taken by social welfare and placed in care in January last year. Since then, she's helped Barbara rebuild her life, moving towns, meeting and marrying Doug, and planning for a new baby. Since the problem with the, her two older girls, she's had a lot of counselling, and her attitude to life, to the way that she would feed the children, has just changed completely. And she wants nothing more than to be able to prove that she, she is changed. Have social welfare helped her cope with her problems or is this something she's done herself? They've never taken any steps to talk with her. Um, when I asked them about it, they just told me that they, their role was not as counsellors and that's not what they do. And it wasn't up to them to provide counselling for her. Barbara's about to become a mother again. In fact, it may be happening as we speak. Do you think she deserves another chance at motherhood? I would like to see them let her have the baby. She's got adequate supervision with her husband being available, with the open home being prepared to supervise her, with me being prepared to go through as often as, as, as possible, to go through and make sure that everything is all right. And I would guarantee that if there was any problem, that it was going to be seen and we'd do something about it. But I really don't see, she understands now what has caused the problems in the past and I, I really don't think that there will be any problems with this baby. Barbara now has a husband, the father of the child that is about to be born. How do you think he's been treated throughout this process? Well, his rights just seem to be gone out the window. He's the father of this baby. He wants the baby. I mean, why should, why should it be taken away from him? He's done nothing wrong. It's, he's just, I haven't actually seen him, but I've spoken to him several times, or many times on the phone since Sunday. And it's just past understanding how he can cope with this. They were so looking forward to this baby. If it hadn't been for the media publicity, do you think social welfare would have given Barbara and her husband any warning that they were going to take that child at birth? No, none whatsoever. 
Um, Barbara's solicitor, as I understand it, had written to them asking what their intention was and we hadn't received any reply. And I was just hoping and praying that they were going to give her the chance with this baby to be able to raise it, to be able to prove that she had changed and that she was a fit mother to have her other little girls back. I think, really, it's like they're kidnapping the child from our family when we've done everything that we can to make sure that the child is safe, well cared for and protected. Well, now, we have spoken, or this program has spoken at length to the couple involved. Uh, Barbara and Doug, as we're calling them, have decided not to speak out publicly at this stage, saying it could risk any chance they have, still, of keeping their baby. Uh, Social Welfare declined to comment today on the case, uh, saying it would be inappropriate to do so. Well, next on the program, Beergate. An army exercise and spending the tax to pay a dollar to ship beer to Australia. And live from Kilburnie, a couple whose house is awash in sewage. <laughs>